we've got a chair, we're going to do some really big moves, but still from the chair. So make the moves as big as you can. Don't force anything, it's not meant to hurt. We just want to get you moving. So we're going to do them a little bit smaller than we make them bigger. So if you can make them bigger, do so. So we're going to lean forward, so you can see I've got my hands on my knees, and then we use the arms to help push us back up. I want you to try and stay nice and straight. So instead of just doing this, I want you from your hips to lean forward and push back. with the other arm. So come down, pick the ball up and throw it. Now you might be able that one side feels more difficult than the other. So I'm right handed. This does feel a little bit odd, but it's getting easier the more I do it. And that's what you want. You want to feel that it's starting to feel more like a throw. Okay, we're going to sit back against the chair now. We're going to do some side bends. So you can keep your hand on the chair as you come over. That's supporting you. And then as you come over, take the other arm up. Up and over if possible, but just up is fine. I want you to try and keep your hips on the chair. So when you go over, try not to lift up. Try and keep that on the chair. So we're coming over and reaching. If you want to make it a bigger movement, Make sure that you're happy that you're supported by the chair, you're stable, because we would reach down and up. Well done. We're going to come to the front of the chair now, and we're going to try and step under the chair. So what you're trying to do is get this knee back a bit. Now as I move that leg back, can you see I'm not arching? I'm staying nice and still. And if you can, see if you can go to the side of the 
chair. So just do one leg. And you really want to try and keep the back straight. So maybe stay back against the chair just to start with. And then maybe see if we can lean forward. Now remember, if it doesn't feel right for your back, you can do it with more support, you can do it smaller. See how it feels. You could stay here, you could straighten the leg out. So think about what else you could do. So we're still on the chair, but we're trying to make the moves bigger. You could even stretch maybe that arm out. Or you could stay here. Or you could even stay here. You've got all those different levels. You might like the bit going out, but need support coming back. Change it so it works for you. Let's come back to the centre. back, didn't we? All we were going to do is take that leg back again. Maybe take that leg, maybe lean forward a bit. Maybe try and straighten the leg out. If you can't lift it back, just slide it along the floor. You're still getting that nice big movement. You can work on the strength part of it later. Get used to doing big movements. Have you got the option to reach out? And bring it back in. Sitting against the chair, we're stepping over to the sides. So you could use the chair to help you with your posture a bit. You could even take the shoulder blades back. Maybe take the arms behind the chair. Maybe take the legs up more. Maybe up in front. Or it might be that you're just doing a small step. Do the biggest movement that you can do. So although we haven't done many moves, we haven't done it particularly fast, you can feel hopefully that doing the big movements is so good for us. You feel like you've actually done something. You've got a bit warmer, you've got that blood flowing, you've got your muscles moving. So keep practicing and only do what feels right for you. 